Hey everybody, today on Tech with Brett, we're going to do an unboxing of the Google Home. This is a new product from Google, and I'm gonna show you all about it. So let's dive in here. Ooh, they have little tabs that make it easy to pull this off. On each side, pull that out. Pretty slick. There it is. So as what Google Home is, this is a product that allows you to instantly connect to Google just with your voice. Um, you can play music from this. It has a built-in speaker here in the bottom. So you have three directional speakers there. Um, and then all that's on the back here is pretty much a power cable that you plug this in and it will connect to your Wi-Fi and you can control it that way. So let's get this set up. Plug it in the bottom there. Pretty easy. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so let's go and get the Google Home app. So I already have this installed on my phone. So it looks like up here at the top, I just need to select to add a new device. And there we see Google Home is available. So I'm going to click Setup. And then it says found Google Home, so I'm going to click continue. Pretty fancy animations. And as what this is doing, it's disconnecting from my phone and connecting the Wi-Fi directly um, to the Google Home to add my Wi-Fi connection to it. So here it wants us to play a test sound. So we heard it, so I'm gonna hit, I heard it. And then here it is going to ask us where we want to put the Google Home. So we can choose all types of different rooms and I am just going to select in the kitchen. And I like to send uh, different usage data to Google so that they can know exactly how their product is working and improve it. So here it wants us to select a Wi-Fi network and then we choose Okay, here it's already learned the password from my mobile device, and I'm going to click continue. And now it is reconnecting to that new network. So here it is now connected. I'm going to click continue. And now we have what is called the Google Assistant. That is one of the coolest products that comes with Google Home. Google Assistant allows you to quickly connect to your Google account um, just by voice. So here I'm gonna sign in to the Google account, and I'm going to use uh, this account right here. And so here it says get personal results. Google Home can use your personal info uh, to assist you. Anyone in speaking range can access that info. Here it's going to set my address so that it can give me information based on where I actually live. And then here it's going to say link your music service. Then um, select the default. So we can link different accounts. I already have my Google account on this device. So it will link that. And then I can add more accounts. Um, so, and then I can add more accounts like Pandora if I wanna link that to my account to easily access this. So here I will click continue. And now it is updating my Google Home. So here on the back of the device, we actually have just one button. This is the mute button. So as what that does is when you press that, it will no longer recognize your voice. So when you activate this, you'll say, okay, Google, and that will activate it and it'll start listening to you. And if you don't want it to do that, you can push the microphone on the back and it will mute. And then here on the front, you also have volume controls. You can just, um, go up or down clockwise or counterclockwise to turn the volume up or down. Okay, it looks like it is finished updating. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, we will continue here. Okay, Google, how far is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. It's really far. So let's see, then it says, okay, Google, tell me about my day. 
Good morning, Brett. It is 11.47 a.m. The weather in Linden currently is 44 degrees and mostly sunny, with a high of 46 degrees. Your commute to work is currently 14 minutes with light traffic if you take State Street by driving. Tomorrow at 7.45 a.m., you have work out. By the way, don't forget to take out the trash. Have a nice day. Here's the latest news from NPR News Summary at 11 a.m. today. Support for this podcast and the following message come from Discover. Become a new card member, and at the end of your first year, Discover will... Okay, Google, we'll stop. Back. It's a pretty awesome update about my day, very accurate in what needs to happen. So next, let's try some music. Okay, Google, play some Christmas music. Sure, here's your Google Play Music playlist called Christmas. Oh, it knows me. All right, let's finish the tutorial here. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, so let's see what else uh, Google can, can do. So here, there's the volume control right on the top. If I hit that mute button. Microphone off. Microphone on. Oh, that can get really loud. That's awesome. Okay, Google. Will it rain today? No, rain is not expected today in Linden. The forecast is 46 degrees and sunny. That's great. I need to put up my Christmas light, so hopefully it does not rain out there. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, Google. Play YouTube on my kitchen TV. I don't recognize my kitchen TV. Try saying the name of your device instead. Okay, so let's go into Google Home. And what I want to do is make sure that it is recognizing my TV. So here I need to, on the kitchen, I actually need to enable voice. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm in. Okay, Google. Play the Cars Trailer from YouTube on my kitchen TV. Sure, playing Cars Trailer yes. from YouTube on kitchen. Check it out, here it goes. Okay, Google. Pause TV. Beautiful. Okay, Google, let's play a game. We can play Lucky Trivia, Mad Lips, or Crystal Ball. What do you want to try? Let's do Crystal Ball. Okay, let me find an appropriately weird tablecloth. If you can, get closer. Closer? Yes. Yes. Close your eyes and clear your thoughts. The crystal ball shall reveal your destiny. Now ask a yes or no question. Will I become a millionaire? The crystal ball says yes and no. Why not? The crystal ball doesn't know everything. You might want to ask a real person for a second opinion. Do you dare ask the crystal ball another question? No, I'm good. Come back soon to hear what the future holds for you. Pretty awesome. Okay, Google, can you send a text? Sorry, I can't send texts yet. Okay, Google, what else can I say? Here are some more things to try. You can say, where do you live? Or, how far away is the moon? You can also see more examples in the Google Home app. Okay, Google. Who is the next president of the United States? Donald J. Trump is the president-elect of the United States. How old is... Okay, Google. How old is he? Donald Trump is 70 years old. Okay, so one of my favorite things that this will do is if I want to add something to my grocery list, I have an app that I use that I would have to open my phone, unlock it, go into the app, and then add it to my grocery list. Let's see now how Google Home works adding this to my grocery list in Keep. Okay, Google, 
Add tinfoil to my Costco list. Sorry, lists other than shopping list are not supported. All right, I guess my Costco list don't work. Okay, Google, add tinfoil to my shopping list. Okay, I've added tinfoil to your shopping list. Change the temperature on the Nest to 72 degrees. It looks like you haven't connected a thermostat yet. Just open the Google Home app and go to Home Control to add a thermostat. Let's do it. Home Control. Settings. Home Control. Found it. All right, here we go. So now, so what we can do is we can add all of our other smart devices in the home. So here I have a Nest thermostat. So I'm going to load that up. And then is what it will have me do is sign in to my Nest account so that it can control that. Okay, so then some other uh, items here. It's asking if I have Philips Hue or SmartThings. So you can actually connect all kinds of devices together with Google Home and you can turn on the lights, uh, check to see if doors are closed, uh, all kinds of things right within Google Home. So as I get those products, I'll do my best to share them with you and how they work. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, Google, change the temperature to 72 degrees. Okay, setting the hallway to 72 degrees. Oh, beautiful, there it goes. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video all about Google Home. As I learn more new tricks, I'm, I hope to share them with you. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks to my awesome wife for this great birthday present. Okay, Google, you are pretty. Thank you. This plastic totally looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> How do you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is spelled S-U-P-E-R-C-A-L-I-F-R-A-G-I-L-I-S-T-I-C-E